Collector Deficiency video. It's Friday, so we'll be showing you everything that is for sale here in World Tier 5. If you guys enjoyed the video or find it helpful, drop a like on it. It's much appreciated, and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more Division 2 content. So first up, here we are at the White House. We have a Douglas and Harding mask with 258 skill power, 18% skill haste along with insulated, a Wyvern wear holster with 5.5% critted damage along with over 19,000 health. Finally, an RPK-74 with breadbasket, accurate, and protected reload. Moving over to the Blueprints vendor, I'm pretty sure that I own everything. Yes, I do. So from now on, I think I'll just uh, skip the Blueprints vendor. Whatever is here, if somebody could leave it in the comments section, that would be greatly appreciated. Alright, moving on down to the clan vendor. For anybody new, I say this every week, my clan is a level 30 clan. So, expect to see items at level 30 clan only. Um, the lower clans seem to get the better end of the deal when it comes to items, but yeah, hopefully that changes in TU6. Okay, Richter and Kaiser Holster with 14% critted chance along with Bloodlust. Wyvern wear knee pads with 14% skill haste along with Braced. Overlord, Arraignments, Vest with 7% crit hit damage, 4% weapon damage, 8% crit hit chance along with Vital. Badger Tough Gloves with over 7,000 health, 5% LMG damage, and 5% rifle damage. It's not too bad. Uh, we have Overlord, Arraignments, Knee Pads with 5.5% crit hit chance along with Hard Hitting. Alp Summit Backpack with 775 skill power, 8% skill haste, skilled and armored. Wow. Thanks for the business. All right, I'm going to grab a few of these. I've never seen a backpack with that much skill power on it. I'm sure somebody else has at a lower clan vendor, but I have not. All right, Araldi Holdings Holster with 45% skill haste along with filler up. Classic M44 Carbine with first blood accurate and rooted. Officers M9A1 with Optimist, stable and protected deploy. And that's it. All right, too bad that Alp Summit backpack was not uh, gear score 500. Next stop is the theater. Nice okay, over here at the theater, we have China Light Industries gloves with 5% assault rifle damage, 6% rifle damage along with capacitive. Providence Defense Mask with 28% damage to elites, 3% crit hit chance along with restorative, and that is it. Next up is the campus. Alright, over here at the campus, there's only a couple things for sale. Fenris Group AB Vest with 12% crit hit damage, 3% weapon damage, over 22,000 health along with unstoppable force and restorative. Overlord knee pads yet again with 9.5% total armor plus hard hitting. Araldi Holdings holster and a help some pair of gloves in terms of the superior items. Alright, moving on over to the dark zones. DZ West main entrance and there are only a couple of things here. First up, Wyvermore holster. 6.5% crit hit damage along with 8,800 health on kill and then a MG5 with close and personal, extra, and stop, drop, and roll. Moving on down to DZ South. Alright, down here at DZ South, we have a Fenris Group AB vest with 8% crit hit damage, 8% headshot damage, 6% crit hit chance, along with the Berserk and Hardened. Honestly, if this was Gear Score 500, I would buy it. And if there was an optimization station, I would say this is a great role for an assault rifle build, but sadly, it is uh, neither Gear Score 500 nor do we have a optimization station. Fingers crossed that we get one in the future. Providence Defense Backpack with 613 skill power, 2% crit hit chance, 1.5% weapon damage on the ropes and hardened. If you can't get the backpack, the Elp Summit one at the clan vendor because you don't have a level 30 clan, I would pick this one 
one up for the 613 skill power unless you already have a amount of skill power that's higher than that on your backpack for your current skill build 1886 with fast hands extra and transmission all right our next and final stop dc east All right, down here at the final stop of the week, DZ East main entrance, we have a pair of 511 tactical gloves with 9% assault rifle damage, 2% LMG damage, along with Terminate, Douglas and Harding Mask with 8% critic chance, 9% damage to elites, 9%, that's really low, centered, and then finally a military M870 with Ranger, Optimized, and Grease. So... Not a good week yet again in the Division 2 other than the backpacks. Like I said, I would pick them up for a skill build. I haven't seen percentages that high personally. I know somebody's going to let me know that they have in the comment section. But I really don't want to clan hop every single week just to try to get one of those things. I'll wait until TU6 and we get new rolls on all of our gear and we're able to recalibrate stuff differently, etc, etc. So... Anyways, other than that, that is it for me, everybody. Drop a like on the video if you still found it helpful. Don't forget to consider subscribing if you're new for much more Division 2 content. You can follow me over on Twitter, at AfflictedGamer, and I'll see you very soon in the next video.